What type of treatment exists for spinal degeneration? During x-ray examinations of the spine, one, one very common diagnosis, unfortunately, is something called spinal degeneration. And a lot of patients want to seek out some kind of some treatment for their spinal degeneration. To understand how you want to treat spinal degeneration, we kind of understand what's the basic spinal structure. We know that vertebra, or every bone of the spine, is a rectangular shape. In this rectangular shape, they're normally stacked upon each other in a straight and neutral alignment. I mean, each one is stacked on top of each other. And each one of these vertebral bodies or these bones are separated with something called intervertebral discs. When spinal degeneration occurs, what ends up happening is that the structure of the spine, the bones, and also the discs in between the bones go through a deterioration phase, meaning they start to, to either change the shape, they're no longer perfectly rectangular or square, and the discs become thinner and start to affect different areas of the body. So how this can affect you, we have to understand how, what do intervertebral discs do? Well, first of all, discs provide a, a, the spine with a very specific structure to protect the nerves and spinal cord inside. So each disc attaches to each vertebra above and below to allow the spine to have a structure to protect. And that's really the number one job of the spine in general is to protect the spinal cord and nerves that go through your spine. Two, it's to provide strength and stability to the torso, upright ability for your torso to maintain itself. It's to facilitate flexible movement, meaning the discs allow the spine to be very protective, but also allow the spine to be very flexible. They act as cushion into to adjacent vertebra to pre prevent friction and wear and tear in the vertebra, meaning if it didn't have discs there, it would be bone on bone, and that will cause each of these bones to deteriorate faster. Though the discs actually allow that not to happen, and the discs primarily also act as shock absorbers, meaning as the body experiences forces of gravity and compression, those these discs allow the the spine to distribute mechanical stress throughout the body, also by the shape of the spine itself, meaning having normal lordosis, kyphosis, and lordosis through the neck, mid-back, and low back, those normal natural curvatures with the discs allow the body to absorb these forces and distribute the forces throughout the spine evenly so it doesn't lead to any type of injury or problem. But what causes these degenerations to occur? Well, first and foremost, typically there is an alignment problem meaning when the spine is not in proper alignment, it will cause abnormal pressure or wear onto the discs and bones in those area. And as a result of uh, degenerative changes because of this abnormal wear, it can cause something called disc desiccation. Disc desiccation is where the disc begins to lose fluid because of this pressure that's occurring as a result of the abnormal alignment. It's just like an unaligned car. If a car is not aligned properly, you're gonna have more pressure on one tire than the other three. That tire will go through a faster phase of deterioration than the other three. Nothing's really wrong with the tire. Nothing's really wrong with the disc. There's just more weight and more pressure on it causing the, the, the tire to degenerate faster so it's gonna have less life expectancy. And the same thing is true with this disc. As there's more weight on it, it squeezes this fluid out and now the disc starts to become thinner and now it leads to something called degenerative disc. And very often this, patients are diagnosed with something called degenerative disc disease and they actually think that it's a disease that they caught and it's a disease that's running systemic throughout their entire body and it has no real like no, no, no real treatment. Well, the opposite is, that's, is actually true. The reason why degenerative disc disease is occurring is normally an alignment issue. There is an alignment issue that's leading to the disc to deteriorate faster because of abnormal wearing. And this is normally a result of some kind of spinal injury or some kind of spinal trauma that's normally initiated this alignment problem as a result of the issue, which is causing these discs to prematurely degenerate. What causes spinal degeneration is almost exactly the same thing as what causes disc degeneration. As these things sit out of alignment, not only do the disc deteriorate with the muscles, the tissues, the nerves around that area, and the bones will start to go through a deterioration phase. And this is something called Wolf's Law. Wolf's Law states that if the spine or, or parts of the body are experiencing excess pressure compared to other areas, whatever has more pressure is gonna go through a phase 
a phase of degeneration, and it's going to do it faster than the other areas. Unfortunately, certain lifestyle areas can accelerate this process, meaning if we have this misalignment going on and we are carrying excess weight in your body, this excess weight leads to the compression. Chronic uh, repetitive poor posture, sitting behind laptops, using your phone, and poor postures can reinforce these negative alignment issues, which can affect the degeneration or the rate of degeneration of your spine. Unhealthy habits like smoking, uh, poor, very poor diet, repetitive trauma, like repetitive lifting heavy objects incorrectly can lead to a, a faster rate of spinal degeneration because it's going to lead to the alignment problem worsening over time. And of course, anything that affects the alignment of the spine can lead to further degeneration like scoliosis, hyper or hypolordosis, hyper or hypokyphosis. And then this is also very often termed as something called osteoarthritis. And osteoporosis can lead to uh, this degeneration and spinal degeneration because osteoporosis can lead to compression fractures, which will lead to an immediate misalignment of the spine, which can cause the spine to deteriorate at that time. So how do you treat spinal degeneration? First of all, you normally have to identify the cause. Spinal degeneration is directly related to spinal alignment. So we have to look at the alignment of the spine and find out what areas of the spine is not aligned and normally they're directly related to the areas that have the most degeneration. Normally just exercise alone normally won't improve alignment. It may help with pain, it may improve with discomfort, but it's not gonna improve alignment. A lot of times patients may get um, injections or take medications to help and deal with the pain that they're experiencing with spinal degeneration, but those things will not help the spine stop degenerating because the alignment problems still exist there. Increasing disc height is an important factor, and normally this is done through cyclic rehabilitation and cyclic traction to help, uh, help the disc regain some fluid and natural height. Increasing muscle, ligament, and joint strength can be valid to help create stability, but we have to increase the disc height and create the stability. And then the most importantly is that we have to use certain types of techniques like chiropractic, tractions, different types of spinal manipulations, adjustments, instrument assisted adjustments to help restore proper alignment to stop the disc from further degenerating and the spine from further degenerating. Preserving spine and disc health with positive life-size torches are obviously very healthy for not only your spine, but your body in general. But if you already know that you have degenerative disc issues and you already know you have degenerative spine problems, we definitely recommend acting proactively to restore normal alignment and to stop the degenerative process from occurring can be the, the, literally the most important thing you can do to prevent your spine from further degenerating. Because one thing we know is that the further the degenerated your spine becomes, the more difficult it is to treat and the more difficult it is to stop the process from occurring and the more difficult it is to restore to normal alignment because once there's enough bone damage and disc damage, it becomes very difficult to restore those things so we can get normal position back to prevent the process from occurring further. So proactive treatment is by far the most important thing. And remember, the treatment has to address the underlying cause, working to improve alignment, strength, increasing support, increasing strength, and increasing hydration of the discs. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.